the next half hour. But meanwhile, in the real world... And you have multiple projects here at D23. Can you tell me a little bit about all of them? Sure. Um, I'm here with a short film that I did with my partner, Elijah Allen Blitz, called Remembering. Um, it's a short film about the world of imagination, and it has a never-before-done AR component. So that's on Disney Plus now. Um, if you Bueller. use your phone or your iPad and hold it up to the screen, the world of imagination will come Bueller. into your living room. And then the other project I'm here with is called Bueller. Growing Up. It's a hybrid docu-series about... Um, young people and their coming of age stories, the things that they feel the most ashamed of and also the thing that they feel the most proud of. The following program contains naughty bits. But before each naughty bit comes on the screen, you'll hear this warning sound. And now, Thames Television brings you the program that's bigger than this. More daring than this. Hotter than this. And more exciting than this. Yes, friends, Thames Television brings you the test card. What do we have here? Oh, Joe Biden's giving out awards to Bruce Springsteen and Gladys Knight. I wonder who else is uh, on the hit list to receive an award. Meanwhile, Mindy killing a main character ah! on the television show The Office, set in Biden's hometown of Scranton, Pennsylvania, received a medal as well. What the shit? Am I seeing things? I heard about this in the week, and I thought this has got to be an absolute joke. Mindy Kaling, who starred in Race Swapped Velma, got an award from Joe Biden. Does Joe Biden know at this stage who Joe Biden even is? <sighs> wow, has Joe Biden even seen Velma? I probably think not, but that is the madness, folks. That is, it's kind of ironic as well that you've got Julia Louis-Dreyfus sat in the audience. She played Selena Meyer in Veep. Uh, she should have been the one going out on the podium and giving Mindy Kaling her award and slapping her in the face afterwards. But no, we're going to get old Joe, who's what, almost 98 at this stage? <laughs> stage four? Who knows? But good grief, man. That is uh, terrible, terrible. Pandering to the far left activists out there. And speaking of activists... Brie Larson, what is this woman up to these days? Let's have a quick look. So Harper's Bazaar, and you've got this very, well, that's not a bad, it's actually quite a nice picture of Brie, actually, for Harper's Bazaar. You know that posh magazine that you might find in a doctor's waiting room, which might inform you about what your doctor's tastes might be like, but Brie Larson refuses to stick to the Hollywood script. Oh, that means you're an activist, Brie? Is that what you're trying to tell us? Are you trying to follow in the footsteps of another activist gone completely wrong, Jane Fonda? I think Jane Fonda recently said that she wants people dead. You know, the same Jane Fonda who was Barbarella back in the 60s and then ditched her sexy image to do more serious things like the China Syndrome and Clute. But she played a hooker in Clute and I think she won an Oscar for that as well, didn't she? So, Brie Larson, the Monday activists now she's captain marvel uh marvelous is she marvelous at the moment i don't think she is actually it's a shame actually because i think she's been dealt a bit of a hard blow by kevin feige and i don't mean it that way it just meant she got stitched up by marvel so oh if you go into google now and you look up brie i didn't know this but her name her real name is brianne sidoni de Solanias. So she's got a bit of French in her, I guess. Why not? And she was born in October 1989. So she's a Libran, like me. But the thing is, I'm not as insufferable as Brie. I've, I can control my, my rage. But, oh, this is a funny thing, isn't it? So she... She was engaged to the lead singer of Phantom Planet. You know the people behind California, California, the OC, you know, that great show back in the day. So she was engaged to that dude, the lead singer. Did Brie Larson lose weight? Well, if you saw that latest uh, trailer for the Marvels, I guess she did. And is she a millionaire? Is she a millionaire? Well, she's got a net worth of $25 million which is a bit chicken change when you think about other 
peers around who have way, way much more money, but I'll probably get back to that in a minute. Brie Larson is jobless after the Marvels with new titillating images. Oh, Cosmic Book News. Have you been looking in my joke book again? I want to share the royalties, bitches. But it is an end of an era for Brie Larson. This is the last video she posted on her YouTube video two months ago. And as you can see from the 2022 scrapbook, she's paired with Tayona Paris and Imelda Staunton. I don't know who that is. Imelda, whatever, who played Ms. Marvel in that TV Disney Plus show that nobody watched. I said the one thing these three ladies have in common is that they have about as much charisma as a piece of dinosaur dog shit. That is one big pile of shit. And honestly, when you know, when you think about the age of Ultron and they and Marvel decided to include this deleted scene of the original mysterious actress who is playing Carol Danvers, AKA Captain Marvel. I think this actress, I've said it before in a previous video, I think A, she looks more comic book accurate than Brie Larson does. She looks less insufferable, and I bet she's a half decent actress. I can't even find out who she is. She's kind of remained a mystery, but I'm pretty sure somebody out there knows who she might be, but she looked fantastic. I think we got her instead of Miss Virtue Signal herself attacking middle-aged white film critics because they have an opinion that doesn't align with Brie Larson's. Oh dear God, what are we going to do, folks? I guess like Kevin Feige, sit there at the round table having more sandwiches thrown out your way from A. Pascal, who actually was one of the masterminds behind the Tom Holland, very successful Spider-Man films that had nothing to do with Disney Plus or the MCU you itself and um, he's scratching his head thinking why 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 did I hire Brie why did I think it was a good thing uh, at the time well maybe Kevin stay off the white stuff off the table concentrate on being a producer again but I guess those days are long gone uh, you know what I think I might watch a bit of Jimmy Kimmel now because uh, yeah let's check out the Jimmy Kimmel channel and see what's going on hubba hubba Whoa. This is Brie Larson in an evening dress? <sighs> now, Brie Larson makes more films, more appearances, dressed in these type of outfits. She's got my money. And you know what? I even left a lovely message for her on her official YouTube channel. Brie, if you happen to watch this video, please come and hang with me in the virtual world. Let's have a bit of a chin wag. Let's get to know each other a bit better. But having said that, I doubt that will very much happen. But hey, you got to put it out there. And listen, you naughty lot, I didn't mean that. I mean, just put yourself out there. You never know who might be watching. And on a final note, folks, I thought I'd end this video on a much more positive ray of lights, like the Madonna song. Uh, and I thought this was such a sweet thing that I had to s swear it. Well, I won't swear in this one, actually. This 98-year-old war veteran, I guess he's a war veteran, is about to have his dream come true. No, not meeting a stripper who works at Sunset Boulevard, but there's something this is a bit more heartwarming, more endearing. So let's just take a look. Dickhead! How you doing? I know you're a really big fan of the actor Woody Harrelson, right? Yeah, he's a great actor. I have a really, he is. really big surprise for you. You do? Woody Harrelson has invited me and you to the red carpet premiere of his new movie, Champions. Which I want to see. And he wants us to go to New York City tonight. Yeah. We're going to New York City tonight. Oh my God. He looks good for 98, doesn't he? Wow. I like New York City. I can't believe it. Don't worry. Oh, God. Hello. Nice to meet you. Oh, God. How are you? You're, you're, you're great. You know, oh, thank you. I mean you. It's nice to meet you too. I love that. I love that. He's a real fanboy. It's like, you're great, Woody Harrelson. And Woody Harrelson is great. I mean, if that was me 
at that premiere, I'll be thinking, Woody, you're great, but can I meet your co-star, Caitlin Olsen from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? <laughs> I'm losing my voice here. I love it. This is my new sexy voice, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think? Leave your comments below and let me know. And on that one, folks, I mean, it's been a crazy week for news, hasn't it, in the entertainment sphere? Now, if I were you, and if you were me, and thank you very much for the brand new subscribers who've joined my channel in the last week, you better click that like button below hit the subscribe button and if you were me and if i were you once again i'll catch you on the next video <sighs> this is duke nukem if you're looking for a douchebag to save the day then try jason king on kung fu hot dog all right now where are the babes